That could have been bad. <laughs> uh, first of all, I am Sterling Bean, uh, senior. Uh, since there's three of us, I just want to make sure they gave the award to the right person. And uh, But I'd like to thank everybody uh, for the honor today to be here. I would like to thank Coach Archer and his wife Diane and Mr. Bennett. In fact, I was in driver's education when I got the call from Mr. Bennett. And I'd had this student on the road for the first time. And we about sideswiped two or three cars before I could get stopped to take your call, Mr. Bennett. So <laughs> it was quite an eventful day. But, uh, and uh, one time, just in the last few years, somebody asked me, he said, well, Coach, how long have you been coaching? I said, well, probably close to 50 years. And they said, well, why did you stay there so long at uh, wrestling? And I said, well, it's kind of like this. I enjoy going to the state tournament and hearing Coach Archer's uh, tales and stories every year, so I just keep coming back for more, you know? So I like that. Uh, I just want to tell you a little bit. I went to, uh, about how I got started, I went to Glenville State College to play football and to be a coach. That's always what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a football coach, and I met a couple guys by the name of Chuck Mills and Joe Mills, and they wrestled for uh, Work County at that time. And I never, we didn't have wrestling in our school or in our county. And so I met those guys, and they started the program back up at Glenville State. So one day, and we all roomed together, they came in and they said, Coach, think about it, or Sterling, you know, we have everybody on the team except the heavyweight. Would you like to do it? I said, well, I've never wrestled before. They said, oh, you do great. We'll teach you everything you need to know. So I went out and, of course, I fell in love with the sport and I got started and after, uh, after a few months, I, I'd gotten bitten by the bug, you know, so. Uh, I did that. But after graduating from Glenville State, I signed a contract to teach in Braxton County. And right after I graduated and got my diploma, one week later I got another diploma. The selected service sent me a, a letter that said, congratulations, you've been drafted into the United States Army. So I decided, what am I gonna do? So I went and talked to my dad. My dad was always the best person around he would always give you good advice and everything. And he said, well, I'll tell you what, you can go and try to get in the National Guards. And if you can get in the National Guards, you can teach, coach, and be a part, do your military service. So I did that. And after a couple of years at Braxton <laughs> County, I wanted to start a wrestling team. And I went and talked to the board, they was all for it. And they decided that uh, they would start a team, but we had to jump through hoops to, in order to get the team. The first year we had to do intramurals. You know, and most of my kids were probably uh, just real tough kids and they, they had a good time and everything. And Glenville, uh, Gilmer County High School loaned us a mat. Well, it's not like the wrestling match you know today. It was like an old padding type uh, mat and we had a big old blue cover we'd put on it. And when you walk across it, you'd sink in. In fact, I got one of my first wrestlers ever here with us tonight. So that was the first thing. And then the next year, they said, Coach Bean, if you will raise the money for a wrestling mat, we'll let you have a team. We'll buy the uniforms and so forth. So we got started doing that. We sold everything in Braxton County. We sold some people's cows, and, you know, just anything we could find to make a little money, we, we would, uh, we would sell it and we raised the $1,800 for the mat and we got started. And the first year was 1972-73. Well, uh, I'd like to thank some people here real quickly and I won't hold you all, but most of all, I'd like to thank my wife, Judy. Um, she passed away last July and she was my biggest fan. Uh, she helped me in every sport I did, whether it was baseball, wrestling, football. She was always there. Uh, she was a great woman. And uh, you know the saying, behind every good man there's a great woman. Well, she was a great woman. She loved wrestling and she knew how to score it and everything. And she was a great mother to the boys on the team and just did, did everything. I remember early in on my career, 
we went to a tournament down at Herbert Hoover. And I went over to the main table, and there was a couple referees talking over there, and they said, uh, you know, uh, how, how's it going today? How, how's everything going? He said, good. He said, I, I don't think there's a, you know, everybody thinks I've been doing a good job of fish shaking. And he said, well, why not? He said, well, that blonde-headed lady there, she didn't think my calls were very good. And I looked, that was my wife. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, and then I had a couple years that uh, I didn't have an assistant coach. So my wife stepped up and she said, I'll do it. So we were at the state tournament. We were on, uh, on the placing round and I had two boys up on the mats. And she took one guy and I took the other. And she went over and, and when this guy got done, he had won third place in the state. Well, she never let me live that down. She said, I always out coach you, know, I was the brains. So, uh, you know, and that, that was, she was just such an inspiration to me and so forth. I'd like to thank my son. He'd load up on the bus and go to all the wrestling tournaments with us. In fact, he would, he would teach the wrestlers up in the bleachers how to play cards, or I'd have to get his money back for him. But uh, it, uh, it, was, it was something else. I tried to get him to wrestle, by the way. And he went to one tournament and he got third place. He got this big old trophy he brought home and, and gave it to his mom and he said, Mom, Dad took me. He said, I liked it, it was okay, but I think I'm gonna play basketball. <laughs> so, so uh, and then, uh, you know, I'd like to thank the many wrestlers uh, that were out there every year, you know, the blood, sweat, and tears that they uh, had when they uh, participated in the sport. I'd have to be remiss not to mention the Metter boys. Uh, the Metter boys are sitting right here. But anyway, my wife had them in kindergarten, or preschool, preschool. And I would go down to her class, and I would go in and I'd say, all right, who wants to learn to wrestle? And of course, she got about 20 kids jumping up and down. They were ready to go, you know? And so the Metter boys were there, and they said, coach, do you think you'll be coaching when I, we get up to high school? <coughs> And I said, well, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll, I'll still be there or not. They said, I'll tell you what you do. You take your vitamins and drink your juice, and you'll be there when we get there. And I was lucky to get to, get to uh, you know, coach them. So, and I want to thank all the guys that helped me coach. Uh, I see Doc Sturge sitting back here. I remember one time at a match, uh, his son was one of our wrestlers, and uh, he got his eye cut down. Old Doc took him back to the dressing room, uh, put stitches in his eye, put a mandate there, and shoved him right back out on the mat, and, and we were ready to go. And all the many friends I've made, all the referees. Now, I'm, I never did get on a referee very much. Is that right, guys? I thought, but I did go to Clay County one time. Rick Parks was sitting there, and we had this one wrestler had the other one on his back, and I, I looked there and I said, you, could get, you couldn't get a piece of wax paper under his back here between him and the mat. And the guy said, one more coach and you're out of here. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I appreciate all the referees, all the coaches I've, I've got to know over the years. And my philosophy basically has been, you know, uh, we've had fun. The kids have had fun. I've always given them all this, the speech. Now you gotta be dependable, you gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta be there to practice every day. You know, what's it gonna be like when you grow up and you get out on your own and you have to sacrifice only for yourself and for your partner in life, be dependable, and everything else will fall in place. But uh, I, I just hope that those of you who are sitting here today will have uh, or have experienced the same fun uh, being a part of wrestling that I have. I thank you very much.